Welcome everybody back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Right after the last episode too. Because I'm I'm hyped to play more of this. Because I wanna get to see the part where I chop the sons of bitches' head off. There's gonna be a lot of death, I know that. I don't know when. But it's coming. Oh my god. In the last episode, the son of a bitch kept kicking me down, and I kept getting back up. Because we, Gas Mass Society, Previously are on not Game of to Thrones. be threatened with. My father is planning to move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. Stop He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. Yeah. <sighs> My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. You're a bastard? And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. We have It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. <laughs> Malcolm! God. Are you gonna be yep. a good little forester? Learn your lesson? And stay down! And then I kept getting back up. Don't think this is over, Roderick! The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Oh, shit! I never did tell you about your father, did I? So if you we bled him at first, oh, God, no. like a pig. <sighs> I didn't do that though. Guys, if you went back into the last episode, I never stabbed him in the chest. I just stabbed his arm. I never ch I never s just I never fucking put my sword into his chest. I put it into his arm. At the end of the day, son of a bitch bled to death. Good. He has a fucking a, a sword wound in the chest. I didn't stab him in the chest. I stabbed him in the arm. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. I didn't choose Seems to Brit kill Seems Brit found him. out too. Now they all see it. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. <laughs> didn't mean it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing You're to be done with you now. Dick. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. 
defend me. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. What? Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible. Finn can't stand me. Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's, Let's go. Man. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. John, I swear I honored my vows. Brit wanted a fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? God be with you, Gary. traitor. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. I fucking hate you. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. The old, the true, the brave. The son of a bitch attacked me! I'm glad Finn stood up for me. Yeah, well, I'll be back. Sorry with that. I didn't know uh, how long it would take, so I paused it. Looks like I made it ju back just in time. If you guys heard my dog whimper, it's because I stepped in a puddle of pee and I slipped onto my dog's leg. He's fine, by the way. It's hard to see dog pee. Alright, so are we Asher?
Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. Are you calling me you a liar? You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. Oh, shit. <gasps> Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. One that almost killed us. Your reaction says otherwise. He's, uh... He's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go sure. ahead. Sure. Why Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. My hand's gonna get bit off, but hey. Oh, fuck. You're brave at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. The tooth. I told you I've heard this story before. Uh, I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Come your on. tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold, lion. a title, An army. my undying gratitude. What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your sellswords, please... If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found... With the cries of children, and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marie. Is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want too. If you really believe that, You'll understand why I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... Why not? You have nothing more to offer me. Croft? You may leave. But that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard.
I wasn't gonna put. Uh, so you wish to accompany them? You'd help the What's second the son. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? I can only speak you're for really myself. considering this. They could prove valuable. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Long indeed. Long indeed. The fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Best go. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Ha! <laughs> Piss bucket. Don't hate me. Long time since we had a piss pocket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! Oh, God, I have a bad feeling about this. Drogon almost murdered me. Curse this bloody leg! Hey, it's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Ooh. Bring your opponent down to your level. Nice. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. All right, all right, I got this, I got this. Ah. Roderick! Let's try it again. Right, I got this, I got this. I'm... Oh, what the almost. fuck? I pressed again. it. Again. I pushed it, I mean. There we go. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me... Oh. Not dying. My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena. I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. Of course. It's not like I'm in the you middle of fucking training. Brother. Quiver. Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's right. happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. 
I didn't know if I would see you again. Even how we left things. That... that doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! You can't marry him to House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father I'll won't I'll tell you listen. what I want to marry. My sword I'm in his ass. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. Kill him. All right, I can't think off. of any other way. My father won't see reason. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. Oh no, I want him dead. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. Good. If you'll help us take down Griff. <laughs> the whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, oh, Roderick? Oh, 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 Griff has been a nightmare all. for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. The Whitehills still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I'll do I don't it want if Griff. I must. I don't want any of this. Promise. I, would be I happy. want that guy dead. Thank you, Roderick. I won't. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quill. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? At this point, I just want to chop that sons of bitch head off. You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget I all that's happened these you. last few years. I love you, Elena. I love you too. Yeah. Oh my god. Got something good going. I can't feel but worry for my dog. Are you okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, you son of a bitch. Are you okay? Is your leg alright? Your leg's alright. Your leg is fine. Oh, shit! Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get young. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> my dog... My dog uh, had the wire of the headset connected uh, or tied around his leg. Are you okay, headset? Tom's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell... The wire got tied he around his leg and he pulled the headphones right off. <laughs> For all of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and Jamie. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. She's wearing a different dress now. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill.
Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Switch characters already. Ah. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Oh, am I figuring out a way to escape? Don't know what I expected. What's that? Onions. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. What's this rusty... What the fuck is that? What's that might be useful. Troll. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I... Well, now that you mention it... What? I want to go with you, Garrett. To the North Grove. Done. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. <laughs> Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. Is that even gonna work? Uh... What what fucking point is this? I can see it. it. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, alright? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. What the 
the fuck out of here. You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. I'm gonna need an extra sword. Hold on, guys. I need to help locking the dog up. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths, broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? Check the swap. Probably. Yep. Isn't it? Roderick! There you are. 
Lady Forrester. What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Kill the Th son This of a could bitch. be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. He's gone too far. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family. And mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Get them ready to do damage. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. That shit's gonna go down. I'm gonna kill the son of a bitch. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. Together. I'm going to murder that man, and the war is going to start. Character swap, are you serious? I tried to oh, hear no, it, didn't. but the wound didn't. Oh, stop this at once! Why? You let that bite faster! No, I tried to... You'd have tried harder for a foster. My lord, please. I am the only lord who matters here. You're going to Roderick. die. Roderick, help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me! I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Let the maester go, Griff. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand. oh you have gone too far. You're a... Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man. And who's a cripple? Go ahead! Come at me, Griff! My fucking pleasure! Oh, oh my god! Oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick! Just give up. Not today. Accept it. You just embarrass me. What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! Kill anyone that moves! <laughs> you heard him! Stop down! Yeah. <laughs> you can't do this! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father. We'll go straight to Roos Shut Bolton. your mouth. Shut your bloody mouth, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... Oh, shut <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is this the man you'd rather have? This... <laughs> fuck you. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? 
No, not yet. You need to stop. My eye! Roderick, listen to me! It's fucking! Fuck this dude. He's had Roderick. it coming. Fuck you. No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. I'll keep this Lord secret. Vital doesn't have to find out. You can only keep this a secret for so long. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Knock him out. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. <laughs> it's about time I got that payback. When I say you don't fuck with the gas in that society, I really mean it. That was just a portion of the shit that we do to you. Word cannot reach high point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All of them. Done. Done. <laughs> I just kept fucking going. I don't give a fuck. You hurt one of mine, I hurt all of yours. I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells? Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. What's going on here? I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh! Damn! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. I'll break Deal more with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? I'm satisfied. I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway. what the hell is going on? Pfft, you gonna lecture me too? <laughs> oh, that was in the nick of time. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Stop. Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Stop. Damn. Come on, Asha. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You wanna help? I'm not going to do that. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Come on. Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. Yeah. When I was seven, oh. my master threw Fuck. me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. 
I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. This is some fucked up My shit. master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. She's so fucking drunk she can barely even walk straight. Oh my god, hold on. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira! I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but... Then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. <sighs> All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? 
I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. <laughs> it's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tidy they are. <laughs> Let alone. <laughs> Stop it. What? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? My apologies. I just noticed Lord Zandros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! And why, why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive really? deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? What else am I eavesdropping on? I'm not drinking the wine. I don't trust it. I don't trust anything anymore. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird. Mm, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? Not interesting there. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well... Wasn't he a Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Oh, surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Well, have you heard of the news? I haven't. No. Let's I, not repeat what, too much gossip. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Eat? No, I'm not eating. Oh God! Uh, I can't. I have to fight the controls. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. I broke into Tyrion's study and burned it. 
risky. But it worked, clearly. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, leave him alone. Please excuse me. So, that, so am I going to interrogate him now? The Eve drop on them even more. I gotta fight the fucking camera. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit! You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you, thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Why Mira. Why your hand shaking that so much? I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... Well, I suppose Lyman, I could just... what do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Fucking bitch. Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. I'd get out of there as soon as I can. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. Alright? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. 
I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Come on. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? What time is it? 9.12. Oh god, please don't. Ah, can I just leave? Let me just leave. Fighting me. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Damn. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... That army will destroy my family! That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Now he looks at me. Then I look at him. 
Any storms over here? Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. As have you, my lord. Because I know everything you're planning. And I'm going to destroy you. What's that look? Oh, he's turning red. Oh, you turning red there. Let me get the fuck out of here. Fucking finally. That took way too fucking long. Jesus Christ. You sure you know where you're going? Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's Almost the out. food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. I will have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. I don't... What are those? Those are whistles. The free folk. Oh, this... Oh, this complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Good on, Ting. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you, all right? You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to no. me. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend. Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. He's not alone. I knew a little crow wouldn't wander off by himself. Leave them be, all right? Just... just take me. I think I'll take all of you. Let him go. That we're just passing through. We didn't mean any harm. Right. You and your fuckless men just want to kill us all and take our land. But you didn't mean any harm. Ah, <whistles> oh, Christ. Why do they all look the damn same? Garrett! Kill them! L listen, listen, I'm... I don't want... Ugh. Hey there. How's it going? Oh shit! Fear and nobody has to get hurt but you. Oh shit! Oh 
Oh god. What's up? Don't you son of a bitch. Our food! Hey! Garrett! Garrett, no! She's not fighting yet! It's over! Could you don't do it! I meant to shoot her in the leg! What have you done? She was running away. It gave me a pointer, and I thought I could shoot her wherever. So I chose to shoot her in the leg. And it went straight for the chest. My god. Shit. Don't. Don't touch me. I didn't mean to kill her. I thought uh, it, it would let uh, me sh shoot her. We can't her stay here. You're hurt. I was just gonna shoot her in the leg. Come on. We can rest up ahead. My god. Things have gotten so sour. What the fuck is going on? We got the fence now. Yeah. I thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. I wish I had killed him. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred, and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. I swear to God if they know. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. I'm not Maybe that this stupid. is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We oh, are not mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? Leave him. My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. It'd be better for me to, to die. I think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Then all, everybody. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Royland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. Duncan's my sentinel. He comes to High Point. Royland can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point. But I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please. I'll do anything you ask of me. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Find proof if you can. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. I've ah, known shit, you I have a long time. 
He's ah. selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I'll be back. Hold on. I'm back. All right, let's continue. I hope you're right, Mother. Is it gonna show which is the traitor? Oh, damn, I fucked his ass up. Holy shit. Goddamn character switch. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. I know. I won't fail them. You'll make them proud. Good luck, my boy. Shall we begin? Want a dragon? <laughs> Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Pen, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that giant warhammer? Get in, do what that you have to do, and get your people Didn't out she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my head could feel any You worse. got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. <sighs> what does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. You don't have to worry about us. Just point us at the people you want dead, we'll take it from there. You enjoy this far more than you should. Kill only those you must. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Hmm. Show them the hell they have made here. What's next? That all looks like it's just been drawn on. Fucking canvas. Hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far.
Which way? Enough sneaking, let me kill some. There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with. Oh god, I'm actually playing now. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You ask me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. They're leaving. Can you see anyone? Cover me. Blood. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Eska, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Eska! Where are you going? Follow her! Where the fuck did she go? Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Beska! Stop! I should have killed you. Beska! I should have fucking killed you! Beska! Continue. He was my master. I know, I got that way before you said it. But you can continue. Kill him. The man who forced me to... Death is too easy for a man like him. I'll make sure he feels it. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away! My... my best guy. I am not your... Get him, go! What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say! Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. 
You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. Yourself. She won't. Then who the fuck cares? Stop. Go ahead, Beska. No! Oh! Damn! What have you done? Justice. Let's go. Justice. Strange thing, isn't it? <laughs> My God. Over there. So when were you gonna tell me he's a fucking Wavi? Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. We can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Huh. Oh, how bad is it? Uh, I don't have anything to clean it with. God, oh, great. Of course, I died by bloody infection. Don't say that. Oh. Oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something? Please. I'll see what I can find. I'm gonna be able to find shit. Something out there. Something in there. Probably something in there. Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. Huh. First place I'd look. Is there no river around here or something? Hey, another hut. Anything in there? It looks like there's stuff in there. Spears, token, daggers. Strange. Sketches. Guess there's not much to do up here. Tokens. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll, I'll gut you like a fucking fish. Just calm down. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Stop, stop, stop. Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. You planning on introducing us, Cutter? Right. Uh... Huh. This... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Well then. Isn't that some? 
I feel like this episode has gone longer, has been longer than the other ones. If I take all the men with me, fucking place is gonna be attacked. If I don't, then I'm fucked. Either way, I'm gonna die. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I'm going to die, aren't I? I wasn't certain you'd come. But it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. Am I in danger here? My father honors guest right, just as you do. And I'm supposed to trust my life to that. I heard what happened with Griff. You did? How you refused to submit to him. You're too strong-headed, Roderick. My father's convinced you mean to rebel. So if you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes. I suppose you are. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M lady. Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to. When my mother was still alive. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Bruce Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna get crossbow down. Right? Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I'm going to die, aren't I? I don't like this. I don't like it either. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff, that's still our plan. We'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. I don't trust any of this at all. That's far enough! Okay. 
How about this entrance? Don't fight me! <laughs> Bart on your side. I really don't like this. Shit's about to go down. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. We came here for Ryan, and I mean to get him back. I know you do. I hope it doesn't come at too great a cost. Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? I could ask you the same thing. All these soldiers... Sounds like you're feeling outnumbered. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? I don't trust this food, it may be poisoned. Why? You know, your father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is. Compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to a family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? I'm not drinking. <sighs> no fucking courtesy. Now. Tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. You promised the Boltons ironwood. If you can't deliver, that's your problem. If our warden grows angry, it's both our problems. You foresters, are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I what, offer what opportunity. What the fuck is wrong with an island? Uh, and an you alliance. demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to Let get what you want! Let me get slaughtering your small folk! Maybe heard he'll even make you watch. Funny you should mention Griff. Have you heard from him lately? What are you getting at? 
He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! How glad I'll return. gladly return him if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Damn, badass. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Yeah. Frederick! I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. No! No! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to him! Let him go or Let go him go! Or I'll have Griff This killed. is not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me! If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Power! I ought to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. Kill me, right. and we all die. Roderick, do something. Let me go. Everyone, please. I'll kill you myself. Let's help him. Go on, then. Do it. What? You think I won't? I know you won't. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, He's you care it. about your son. A white hill is still a white hill. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And oh, the you're gods a have mercy on us both. When the Boltons come for their ironwood. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. If I chose attack, we all would have died. If I chose to beg for mercy, then no, I would never do that. Ice! If I accepted. Hell no. Now, call his bluff. Always works. God, there it is. is it? The God. East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. Hmm. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards like the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know here. So we stop them. Aye. Ah. We'll need to take those two out first. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. Fine with me? Fine with me. Great. Oh, God. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she will. Yes. 
so. Donzo. Dead. No, 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 no. We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? Um. Uh. Go above, climb the wall. We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. Shit out of me. <laughs> oh. Them climbing skills. I'm a bit clumsy. It's a bit rusty. Death from above? Ooh, it's gonna be a death from above. You hear above. that? This calls herself the breaker of chains. Ah! Fellas! <laughs> it's me! Oh! I think Croft got an easy job. As long as I'm killing, I'm not complaining. What happened? Not important. Keep moving. Quick, the guard's on the roof. We'll take care of it. I feel like he's gonna get murdered. It's so fucking cold in this I'll goddamn get rid of them. room. Snicky, snicky. Lemon. No, no, Queen. no, no. It's too much. What? It's too much. You'll ruin it. I know what I'm doing. Doesn't look like you did. You little rat. Did you say something? Well? I said you're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. Just keep doing it. You tell me when you're forced to break. Then you won't break. I'll put you in half. See how you like it. All clear down there? Hey! Oh. <laughs> Get from above. What's up? They're still up there. On the right. Take them out, and you'll be clear to secure the beacon. Got it. They break through. I'll keep them busy. We can finish this. Just look at them. Two men. We've dealt with worse. Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? You afraid of a couple of crossbows? Hey, we took of... on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. Come on. All right. I have a, I have a little bit of security. You know? Hey! 
get them! Oh, shit! Well, hello. Stop the fire. Cut the fuse. Yeah. Lighting that. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Where's your whimpering? I'm not dead yet. Yet. Hear that? Starting. <laughs> Smile. Damn, the episode's still going. What time is it? Jesus. <laughs> Home at last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. We'll celebrate once Ryan has returned safely. We still need to make the trade. You're right, of course. Still. You did well today. Don't lose sight of that. My lord! Look! What's up? It's empty. Where are the gods? Blood. Dahlia! Things happened. Sir Ryland! Where are the Glenmores? Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. Don't tell me the son of a bitch is free. Don't tell me the son of a bitch is free. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Oh, maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I... I Don't tell me it's that guy. I a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? Oh my no. god, it's that dude. No. Roderick! Roderick! <laughs> I love the dude. Roderick! Welcome back. State your business? State your business now. I thought you'd have more courtesy. Especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together. 
Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you? Hi. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Don't tell me that's the end of the episode. N are you fucking serious? No, I don't believe that. Nah. Dude. I thought we were gonna have a fight. Ah, oh, god damn it, why? I thought we were gonna have a fight. Next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. Justice was for Marine to deliver, not you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't cell swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Trusted who? Things that might prove we got to find guilt. out the, who the traitor is. Perhaps you are not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrid. Shh. I swear, I swear to God, if it's no, Duncan can't be brought Finn along. Maimed Griff. Kept Sarah's secret. Ordered Glenmore soldiers to remain in IRF. Allowed Beckshaw to kill the slave master. I don't give a fuck. He deserved to die. That's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.